Hello YouTube, welcome to Crypto Pigs. So I wanted to start off with just saying sorry that I've been gone for about four days. I finally finished closing on my house last week. Probably the most stressful month of my life. <laughs> we had to move the entire house over this weekend, which was the worst idea ever. I recommend hiring movers if you ever move. And if you have extra money, please hire movers. It was awful. Okay, let's get back to the video. Today I'm going to talk about two potentially promising ICOs for mid to late October. This was much tougher than I expected. Most ICOs were either in the beginning of October, like WAN Chain, or at the beginning of November, like uh, Utrust. So it's not that I'm skipping Utrust or whatnot, it's just, in my opinion, it's a November coin. So if I do an ICO video for November, that might be on there. But since I'm doing mid to late October, skipping it. So I hope you enjoy this video. And also don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get going. So my first coin is Global Job Coin. This is an e-recruitment platform in Switzerland, Germany, Austria, and Poland with the plan to expand outwards into Europe and eventually worldwide. Users of their platform can search, hire, and pay for freelancer services using global job coins. Clients can secure their funds using Ethereum smart contract with escrow functions and release payments after milestones are met by the freelancer. And clients can easily interact with the smart contract via GUI. Employers will offer various bounties in global job coin to applicants for a job posting or they can offer bounties to users recommending potential candidates. They also pay dividends. So every quarter, the coin holders will be rewarded with 20% of their global profit. They also have this token repurchase incentive, meaning they will invest 10% of their profits in repurchasing their global job coins from the market, which they'll lock these coins in an escrow account for 365 days. So the problems that they're trying to solve they state that there is a big shortage of workers in Western European countries and that there is not a single platform that connect qualified professionals to companies all over Europe, that big players in the market are dictating higher prices and smaller businesses cannot afford to post jobs online. And this is what they plan to fix and hopefully make more efficient. Now to the token sale information, most of the time what everybody's interested in. Their crowd sale starts on October 28th. The ICO crowd sale total supply is 70 million. Their ICO pre-sale was 10 million. And they're, they have a bonus by when you buy. So as you can see, day one through two is a 20% bonus. Day three through four is 10%, five through six, 2.5, and then day seven, there's no bonus. So their max market cap is $60 million if all coins are sold on day seven, and their minimum market cap is around 50 million if all coins are sold within day one or, and two. This is also an ERC-20 token, which is pretty big for me. It seems to be super common with all the ICOs. It's kind of weird if they're not. So it kind of summarizes their token sale information. If you buy global job coin on day one, you'll get each coin for about 71 cents. Day three to four, it's 78 cents. Day five to six, 83 cents. And day seven, 85 cents. This is all based on $300 Ethereum. So their token use, global job coin is an ERC2 decentralized token to pay for services related to employment. Their coin will be used on their job platform they, they want to expand their operations worldwide, having their coin become the essential choice of payment on all their platforms around the world. They are also partnering with other partner job borders to offer integration of global job coin in their platform also. So they're not just trying to be specific to themselves, but they want to actually expand other recruitment companies. So the one part that's a little sketchy is their team. They don't have the best team out there, 
I don't have any stars on here. They're actually kind of a little inexperienced with most of their big experience coming from this company since it's been out since 2014. A lot of them have been working here for like three or four years. So CEO Sen Sanket has nothing special on his resume outside of this company, but that's not really going to deter me too much because again, a lot of these guys have have experience within their company, like three to four years experience, which isn't always a bad thing. Now, if you look at their roadmap, it's a little different on their white paper. I'm going to go off their white paper and just use this as a reference. December 17th, it's when they're going to, the token sale will end. They plan to launch on first trading exchange in jobs today, which is what they, their product has releases their 2.0. Then you get into January 2018. Expansion of jobs today, dev, sales, and marketing team. Also in January, they plan on trading on Korean and Chinese exchanges. Then you got March 2018. Integration of global coin, global job coin on their job state platform. Uh, April is going to be their first quarterly profit sharing to token holders. And that's when they'll also launch their jobs today iOS and Android app. May, they'll launch the freelancer platform with the token integration. June, they'll be launching the platform to Spain, France, and Italy. July will be the second quarter profit sharing. August, they're going to launch to Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and Latvia. September, they're going to launch a video job advertising. And then the rest of their stuff is pretty much more profit sharing and launching in all other European countries. And then by February, 2019, they're gonna launch their platform worldwide. So to summarize Global Job Coin, I feel they have the potential to be significant since they already have created jobs today back in 2014. Their market cap could be a bit lower to encourage more investors, but I really like their dividend payout and their repurchase incentive. I'm not sure yet if I plan on investing in this ICO, but I have registered and I'm ready if I have extra money to throw in. I also want to show this quick YouTube video just to give you guys a little more detail in case you had a little trouble understanding what it was from my summary. Global JobCoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency for employment services worldwide. Integrated into an already successful Swiss international job platform, Jobs Today. Launched in 2014 and with more than 1 million users registered, Jobs Today has grown over 500% in the last few years with more than 5,000 customers worldwide. Using the Ethereum blockchain, we are creating this token for employers and employees worldwide. Employers, use Global JobCoin to pay for single job postings or purchase multiple job packages on Jobs Today platforms worldwide. With the launch of our freelancer platform, clients can hire and pay for any freelancer services using JobCoin. All the freelancer contracts are protected by smart contracts. Additionally, Jobs Today users receive job points as bounty for applying for a position or recommending a potential candidate. An open API provided by us helps our international partners integrate JobCoin on their job platforms easily. Jobs Today is part of the $20 billion online recruitment industry, and with global JobCoin, it is revolutionizing the market. JobCoin brings a lot of benefits to its token holders. All our token holders are rewarded every quarter with 20% of our global profits as dividends. And we also invest 10% of our profits in repurchasing the global job coins from the open market. So that's the YouTube video on global job coin. I hope it gave you a better idea of what I've been talking about and kind of give you the information you need to decide if you want to jump into this coin or not. My next coin is Privatix. So Privatix is an easy to use free VPN service at privatix.com that can be used for anyone, anywhere. They claim since 2015, more than 750,000 users have used their service and the Privatix networks will have its own advanced crypto economy and allow users to rent out their broadband in exchange for Privix tokens. So summary, they just want to create a decentralized, fully autonomous peer-to-peer -peer 
VPN network on the blockchain powered by their own cryptocurrency. So let's get to the good stuff. So their token sale starts October 18th, which is pretty soon. The price is one ether equals 100 pricks. So they also have a bonus. Sometimes this kind of deters me. First 48 hours, you get 40%, 1.4, next week one is 30%, and so on. Week two, 20, week three, 10, week four, 5%. So their max market cap is 59,017 ether, which is around 17.7 million. If you're basing it off of ether being $300 with their minimum market cap, of 5,225 ether of about 1.5 million. I personally would like the 1.5 million, 17 million is still super low. The ICO distribution is 8.3 million coins. That's it. 300 are 300,000 are going to their pre-sale and 8 million are going to their token sale. That's a pretty low circulating supply their total supply is only 10 million coins that is super low in my opinion so to summarize it all up if you buy on the first 48 hours you get 140 pricks per ether if you base this off of ethereum price at 300 dollars that puts you at each coin around two dollars and 14 cents super low for an eight million dollar token supply next the token use Pricks will be the only token allowed for mutual settlements within broadband buying or selling. Pretty much you got to use this to buy and sell on their VPN. Now their team. The Privix team is also the team behind temp-mail.org, which has more than 250,000 daily visitors and filters out more than 10 million spam emails a day. Obviously, plus that they have developed somewhat successful company, it seems. Their CEO, Dima, has doesn't really have super impressive experience, but has successfully ran a previous company called 5VPN, meaning he does have some experience within this field, which is obviously a plus. Next, Nikita, their other co-founder, has about 15 years of experience as a developer, obviously a plus, also worked for 5VPN and many other companies. Another co-founder, Rub Tassov, I don't know how to say his name, he's the chief of operation and business development, has worked in the VPN business since 2010, so it seems that at least their co-founders have extensive experience within the VPN area. Based off their three co-founders, I wouldn't say any are superstars with Nikita having 15 years of development experience, possibly a star. Everyone else on their team seems to have a fairly good amount of past experience for their role, but there's no superstars that I could find. With their advisors, I didn't really see any advisors that also stuck out to me. So take that as you, as you want. Their team wasn't bad. Their advisors are pretty average. In terms of roadmap, so in 2017, October 2017, they're going to complete the token sale and their first month priorities are list perfects on at least three popular exchanges, pretty much add more to their HR type items. And then the end of 2017 to Q2 of 2018 is their core network development. The Privis network alpha is going to be out. You can download their software or mobile app, and then you can start sharing their connection. And the Privix.agent, which is a crop platform software for exit node owners. Then Q3 to Q4 2018, the proof of concept products and network, which consumer VPN based on the VPN protocol, advanced proxy, and then beta for their platform is released. Then Q1, Q2 2019, more proof of concept, the final release of their network, and then their FAAS and monetized SDKs will be released. Finally, I'm going to end here, Q3 and Q4 2019, some more proof of concept, box hardware, and infrastructure for the VPN providers. So now I want to show you a quick YouTube video of what Privitix is in case you had a hard time grasping everything I'm telling you here. Today, there are 3.5 billion people using internet in the world, and that number will grow to 5 billion in 2022. All these people have an internet connection that's paid for, but they don't use it 24 seven. 
Did you know that almost 90% of the internet broadband, which is already paid for, remains unused? Privatex will allow everyone to sell the spare bandwidth and get paid for it in crypto. Real money. With zero investment or efforts, you can just make your idle resources generate profit when you're sleeping. But stop. Who will buy it? Where will the money come from? That is simple and genius. People's internet connection and bandwidth is highly demanded by businesses who need this scarce and high-cost resource to build or sustain their products. Examples? No problem. Here is one of the most obvious examples of services which can be built on Privatex Network Foundation. Decentralized VPN service. 100% anonymous, fast, cheap, and unblockable. Based on blockchain that can eliminate the middleman in the face of centralized VPN service provider. Real anonymity and encryption, worldwide coverage, and low prices. Because the payment goes directly to exit gateway owners. Blockchain CDN. The potential killer of AWS and Akame or residential IP addresses and proxy market with millions of exit points worldwide. Anti-censorship SDK, even monetization solutions for app developers. Today, there is no solution which can connect buyers with sellers and ensure their mutual benefits, but blockchain is coming to help. Based on Ethereum blockchain, PrivateTix will build a peer-to-peer -peer VPN network with thousands or even millions of participants. This network will have its own crypto economy and built-in bandwidth marketplace. Our PrivateTix network concept is patent pending in the US. Once it is developed, it can solve the biggest problems the World Wide Web is facing right now or in the near future, like internet censorship, cybersecurity, privacy protection, and easy to use encryption for everyone to speed up the whole internet by using idle worldwide broadband resources. So that was the video of Privatix kind of giving you a better idea, hopefully summarizing everything I just said and giving you a more clear picture of what I've been talking about. To summarize Privatix, uh, I'm fairly interested in this token. It seems like a pretty good concept and a super low price slash market cap, potentially $2.14 per token with the 8.3 million circulating supply, meaning the earning potential is great. Also, once the alpha goes live, it will be interesting to, to think I could essentially make money and sell my internet connection while I sleep. I will most likely participate in this ICO if I have the extra money. Let me know what you think or if you plan on jumping in also. So this is my video on two potentially promising ICOs that are coming up mid to late October. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please smash that like button and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.